and welcome to this edition of Stevenson Athletics Plays of the Month. This time we're bringing you action from the month of March. And let's get things rolling with uh, some more lacrosse. Yeah, women's lacrosse senior Brady here putting on some nice moves to beat her defender. Fakes her one way, goes back in the other way, and shoots it right over top of the goalie's head uh, to get things going against Montclair State. You know, how about some St. Patrick's Day action? Wade Corbin's going to find JT Thielen cutting down the crease, and that sweet behind the back shot past the Lynchburg goaltender, and he finds the pot of gold. I mean, he couldn't place it any better. I mean, he's going behind his back, though. I don't know if it's a little bit of luck on St. Mm. Patrick's Day, but <laughs> it's a top top corner right there. Yeah, is Thielen an Irish name? I don't know. Let's go into some volleyball against Juniata in a Continental Volleyball Conference contest. The Mustangs here, senior Kyle Johnson. Look at that save there. Get his hand under the ball. Jason Gardner bumps it over. It's a free ball for Juniata, but they send it into the net. So that hustle play earns the Mustangs a point in that third set. Back out to lacrosse. How about another behind the backer? This time the Fasher brothers. Not very often some brothers get to play, but we've had some twins, some brother pairs, and the Fasher brothers hooking up for that sweep behind the back goal. Yeah, the, the men's lacrosse team must be uh, a team of brothers. Yeah. Like, really, because they've yeah. had so many pairs of brothers that have come through this program. It's awesome. It is, and I bet you they practice that behind the back shot all the time just to be that good at it. Yeah, they're keeping that, that play in the family there. <laughs> yeah, they are. Some women's lacrosse. Another senior, Mackenzie Reese, well aware, picks up the loose ball off the free position shot and finds freshman Keely Bunts for the score. Wide open in front of the net against Messiah here. And Mackenzie Reese and her, her fellow seniors are having a heck of a season. They are. And then all the youth on the field as well are, you know, they're showing they're here to play. Get out to some shout outs. Um, first of all, Devontae Williams in the indoor national championship wins his preliminary heat and then finishes fourth in the national championship in the men's 200 meter. Yeah, I mean, talk about a senior who's had a heck of a career. Devontae Williams, uh, he plays football as well as indoor and outdoor track and field, and he is a stellar athlete. He is one fast guy, and to finish fourth mm -hmm. out of all the Division three mm -hmm. student-athletes running that event, that's incredible. Worth mentioning, he's the first Stevenson athlete to qualify for the NCAA Indoor Championship. Yeah, wasn't he the first to do it in outdoor as well? Uh, yep, two ago? I believe so. Yeah. Um, another kudos sent out on the tennis courts. Brian Gilsman finishing the month of March on a four-match win streak. He's won his last four matches uh, in the number one slot. Yeah, we talk about it. I guess this must be a theme for the month of March, talking about four-year athletes and these seniors is Brian has had a, a an incredible four year four year career and mm -hmm. uh, he, he doing it in a senior year. I think he won Mac Player of the Week honors for that stretch of wins that he's had and he's been winning since he walked on campus here, so he knows how to get it done. And's always been in the conversation for um, Player of the Year as well on the men's side. Uh, another person in the cut in that type of conversation, Olivia Montero, picking up her 100th career goal in the month of March. Yeah, I mean, she's just climbing the record book in all in all these categories. Uh, she's five assists shy of 50, mm -hmm. and so I think that would put her just the eighth player in program history to have 100 goals and 50 assists. She ranks eighth right now in school history in points, goals, and assists, and then she she's climbing that record book in draw controls. I think she ranks third currently. And the month of March, historically, for Stevenson Athletics is uh, spring break, and with that comes a lot of trips. Beach Volleyball in their second season have a longer trip to take uh, during spring break. They play nine matches and come back six and three. Yeah, like you said, it's just a second season. Dave Trumbo knows knows how to get the best volleyball out of his players. And, um, you know, there's not that many Division three teams yep. in Beach Volleyball three. yet. Uh, we were the first. Yep. Uh, so we're not only are they six and three, they're six and three against great competition. Yeah. Shout out to our trainers, Mar month of March with us. Athletic Training Month. Um, our trainers led by Scott Zima do an incredible job with our student-athletes. So shout out to all of them, Carrie, Jamie, Stephanie, 
Jimmy and Connor. Certainly these records wouldn't be able to be met or surpassed without their help in getting our athletes back on the playing fields and courts and ready to compete. So, yeah. Well we've... done to them best athletic training staff absolutely in division three absolutely well that'll do it for the month of march uh stevenson athletics plays of the month check us out on snapchat instagram Twitter, roku you yeah youtube roku youtube roku and facebook and uh hashtag staying nation <laughs>